start, this video is all about how to use the timer feature in a Fiveable study room. So first we have headed to Fiveable.me and you need to create an account if you haven't already or if you have, please log into your pre-existing account. Then we are going to press start a session up here in the top right corner and give our session a name. Then we are going to click the start button below. Once our session loads, you can see that there are so many features within a session. But the one that we are focusing on today in this video is this timer section. The great thing about the timer is that you can toggle between a group timer or a personal timer. This is awesome if you're in a discover room and you're studying with other students who are using their own timer, but maybe you don't want to use that timer. So you can toggle over to personal and click down here to set your duration. You can set a custom duration and let's say I want to study for one hour and 17 minutes. I can press set timer below and it will start my timer. Then you can pause your timer if you would like and you can even stop it and it sets it back to zero. If you want to study as a group, you can toggle over to the group. If other people are in your study session, then they can also follow this timer as well. So let's say we want to select 25 minutes, press the clock symbol and it starts our timer. A cool thing to note is that you can also disable timer notifications. When your timer runs out, it will normally make a ding noise to let you know that your timer has finished. But if this is distracting and you're trying to study in a super quiet space, then you can click this bell icon right here and it will silence those notifications. If you have any other questions on how to use the timer feature or other features within a study room, make sure to head to help.fiveable.me and locate the category study rooms. Or head down here to our chat box and we can have a live person help you out from there. Happy studying!